Hi everyone, happy Halloween, my favourite day of the year. I'm so happy and excited. I absolutely love Halloween. And after last week's video, which I filmed, edited and uploaded in a day, which I don't think I've ever done before, but I film in Bolden. So I'm actually filming this on Halloween. And later I am going to be taking my little cousins out trick or treating, which I'm super excited about. I haven't got to go trick or treating in a while it's got to be at least 10 years because i feel like for someone in their mid-20s to be like knocking on doors being like trick or treat would be a bit creepy so i'm glad i have the excuse to celebrate my favorite holiday um rosie my other little cousin who's not so little anymore is gonna feel like i'm a traitor for calling halloween my favorite holiday because we love christmas and i still love christmas but there's something about halloween getting dressed up so yeah today i thought i would get ready with you I'm going to be going as like a zombie cat, super original I know, but I have these cat ears that Matt and I got in Australia a long time ago now when we went traveling straight after uni and we were in Australia for Halloween and we didn't have anything to do. So we bought these cat ears, Matt had like devil horns and we just ate sweets in our hotel room and Matt fell asleep. It was my saddest Halloween yet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put these to good use and be a zombie cat tonight. So earlier on, my I helped my mum get ready because she is going to a Halloween wedding today, which is the coolest thing ever. I'm so jealous, it sounds amazing. Um, so she kind of wanted to dress up a bit, but not too much because it is still a wedding. And I think the fancy dress was optional. So I helped her get ready. So I will insert the footage from that at the end of this video. As always, all of the products I'm using are cruelty-free and vegan. So I've obviously already done all of my standard base products if you want to see what I use for that, I will link in the description the what's in my vegan and cruelty free makeup bag. Um, but to do the kind of eye look, which is where I'm going to really go in with it, I'm using my e.l.f. palette. Um, so it is the nude rose gold palette. And I usually use this to give like a really glowy, dewy look. But today I'm going to use it to give myself like a, a dead look. So I've taken the eyeshadow off my eyelids very poorly. Um, but yeah, let me get my hair out of my face and let's get started. So usually I try really hard to cover up my under eye bags, but today I'm bringing them back in. So I'm going to use some of these like kind of dark pinky shades and some of the greys to just really kind of colour under my eyes. Oh. <laughs> I feel like it looks like I've been punched in the face. <laughs> I've got the zombie eyes down. Um, now on my lips, I currently have my favorite um, Decay lipstick, but I feel like zombies don't have nice pink lips. So I'm gonna take it off and cover my lips in foundation. Mm. So I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay foundation because it's actually quite light. This feels so wrong. Oh my goodness. This is horrible, this is not very nice. I think I've used too much. I'm gonna blend this in now with my Charlotte Tilbury brush. It feels wrong to use such a nice brush for this, but I'm gonna do it. And now just to match up with the rest of my skin tone, I do have some of my MUA bronzer on. So I'm just gonna go over this area to kind of even it out. <laughs> Now to make myself into a cat rather than just how me and my friends used to look back in 2009 when we thought it was really cool to wear concealer as lipstick. I feel like kids these days do not go through that ugly makeup phase. Like my little cousins know how to do makeup way better than me. Um, but to draw on my little cat vibe, I'm gonna be using my Barry M Brow Wand. This is actually the only product in my last video which I didn't have downstairs and I was too lazy to run up and get. So this is the brow pencil that I mentioned. Um, but I think, I'm not sure I'm gonna use the pencil or the gel. I'll go in with the pencil first because the gel might be a little bit too bold. Okay, 
Okay, that is my <laughs> cat look. Um, such a poor attempt. I feel like they look more like spider's webs, but we're gonna go with it. Oh my God, I feel like a cat now. I've got an itchy nose. So now I'm gonna do my hair. Um, and this feels like such a waste because I've just washed and curled my hair, but we're gonna go through it. From Superdrug, I have this um, Fantasy Glitter Gel, which is obviously vegan and cruelty-free. And then these little like sparkly gems. I got these a couple of years ago on Halloween and I love the way I did my hair. So I'm gonna do it again. So I'm just gonna take the gel, rub it in my fingers and then push this in my parting area. I did this on my mum earlier and I'm pretty sure I used way too much gel and she was like, is that too much? And I was like, no. Wait, is it too much gel? <laughs> I'm so sorry, mum. Okay, my parting is covered. So now I'm going to go in with these little glitter bits and just sprinkle them on my parting line. So it looks like you have a glittery parting. Do not ask me what part this plays in being a zombie cat. I just think it looks really cool. Okay, so now to make it all a bit more cohesive, I am just gonna dab a tiny little bit of the gel on my fingers and then dip them into the glitter pot and then just touch my hair in little bits like this just to get some of the glitter throughout. So now I'm just going to put my little cat ears on and here we have it. I am a zombie glitter cat. That's what I love about Halloween. It doesn't need to make sense. Um, I'm really happy with how this turned out and I think it's super cool that you can achieve a Halloween look. I mean, with all cruelty free products, I'm sure there are lots of really good makeup artists out there that could do way better looks. but whatever you can kind of use that's not cruelty free you can find a cruelty free alternative like the fact that you can get all of this cool hair accessory stuff for a super affordable price in an accessible store like super Drug is amazing so now i'm going to show you the look that i did on my mum earlier because we did more of a kind of ice cream look on her with the same products but just use them in a different way so i'm going to insert that now So I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. I hope you are having slash have had an amazing Halloween. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Monday with a non-Halloween video. <laughs> Bye.